I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student Rohan. Rohan, thanks a lot for sharing this question and I hope its solution will help many others. I have placed this as a challenge question on divisibility rules. The question here is, a five digit number is formed using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Each digit is used only once, that means no repetitions. The number is A, B, C, D, E with following conditions. So these are the three conditions. A, B, C, that means the first three, is divisible by 4. B, C, D, next three, is divisible by 5. And C, D, E is divisible by Three. The last three are divisible by number three. What is this unique number? There is only one number which will satisfy all the three conditions. Can you tell me what is this number? So I'll wait for your answers and then provide you with my solution. Okay. So you can actually pause the video and here is how I'm going to work out a solution. So we are working with five numbers so let's the numbers be one two three four okay let's say five so these are the five numbers which we have to fill in let's try to understand divisibility rules as we fill in our numbers simplest is this right b c d is divisible by five so the numbers basically are let me write here a b C, D, E. B, C, D is divisible by 5 means what? B, C, D is divisible by 5. That means what can D be? Well, D could be just 5. right? Since our number has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there is no 0 in it, right? So, the rule here is what? Number ends with zero or five since we have only five here we have used the number five and that goes in the position of d clear okay now let's look into the first statement which says a b c is divisible by four now what is the rule for four well it should be an even number for sure second the last two numbers, that means B, C, that means B, C, should be multiple of 4. Right, so, so that means this number could be 24, for example, 32, for example, 12, for example, correct? So those are the combinations. But in all these combinations, this could end with either 4 or with 2, right? So it could end with 4 or it could end with 2. So we have two options here. We'll see which one best fits in the situation, right? Okay, now let's take up the last condition, which is going to give us our answer. CD is divisible by 3. So these three numbers are divisible by 3. So what is the rule for this? That means sum of CDE, that is C plus D plus E, is multiple of 3. So we let's add them. 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, we could also use 2 also. Let's try with 2 since I know that is not the right answer. 2 plus 5 is 7. What is the multiple of 3 more than 7? It is 9. So I could have 2, right? But since I have already have 2, we cannot repeat it. So that is not the right option. Perfect. So that means we'll strike this off. This option does not work. So we're left with only one option, which is 4 and 5. Now it is simple. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Multiple of 3 means I could use now 
3. 9 plus 3 is 12. So this number should be 3. So we know 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. And you can divide 12 by 3. You get 4. So that works. Perfect. Now, since these two numbers should be multiple of 4, we have already placed 4 here. That number could only be 2. So it's 24 for us. Correct. What is left? The number 1 is left. So the answer is 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. This is the number which satisfies all the conditions. All the digits have been used just once, right? So there are four conditions to this. And these three. You can check that 124 is divisible by 4. 245 is divisible by 5. And 453 can be divided by 3. 9, 1, 3 times 1, 3 times 5, 1, 5, and 1, right? So that is how we could actually solve this particular question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. And that is a very good review of divisibility rules for our middle school students. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. And keep sharing and posting your questions. Thank you and all the best.